Here I have the game Little Orpheus from Steam Store, a game released in September uh, 2022 here in Steam Store. I already have here on my channel gameplays um, with this one on Nintendo Switch, on iOS, iPhone, iPad. Uh, I'm uh, really glad that the game uh, is here and we can play it on Steam Deck. As you see, Steam Deck compatibility unknown. Um, I'm using Proton 704. I get access to Vulkan, as you see. And at this point, I'm, I'm playing the game with high graphics and we get 50, 60 frames. Uh, so if you want uh, very stable 60 frames, go uh, with medium settings. But I prefer the game in this way and most of the time we get 60 frames. Um, the game looks really, really nice and it's a real pleasure to, to have it here. I still struggle to believe it. A whole lost city buried in that jungle deep below the crust of the earth. Who would have thought it was possible? Who indeed? It is of course a shame you didn't think to record the moment for posterity and help us all to get over our disbelief. But I did, General, I did. My training was excellent and I immediately took out my Kamsamulyats and began to document all I could. Is this camera now then? Ah, General, uh, yes. <laughs> w what, of course, I, I meant to say was my training was excellent, and I immediately reached for my camera, only to realize it must have been torn from my utility belt in the crash and lost forever in that forgotten jungle. I 
man like hell, General. Intrepid yet doomed hero survived the jaws of the ferocious dinosaur. Will he meet his end miles underground as an aperitif for a ravenous raptor? What dark secrets could be buried in the lost city of Agatha? Will the general ever discover the location of his lost bomb? All of these questions and more will be answered in the next exciting episode of Little Orpheus! Luck! What a miracle! One moment I was rushing into the fetid tonsils of that horrible monster. The next, I was plummeting downwards to the jungle floor beyond its reach. I prayed I would land on something soft. Perhaps your head. But nothing, nothing could have prepared me for what was about to unfold. An epic saga of pride, power, and revolution. A struggle for freedom, the likes of which our world has never seen. And it happened like this. strange, gentle monsters who towered above me. I could only guess they were the lost tribe of the Mienf, an earlier race of people. But why were they so fearful of those ancient gates that lay just beyond their village? And why did they seem to recognize me? Why? General, who was I to question such things? Trapped as I was deep underground. I was more curious, I must admit, about the location of Little Orpheus. city, a uh, mighty power, yet your nymph squatted like savages in huts at its boundary. They did. And the answer to that mystery lay beyond my grasp at that point. Because it was a wonder, it truly was. city. 
Duchy of Agartha. I hope I may one day see it myself. Oh, General, if only you could. Unfortunately, as I shall explain, should you seek Agartha now, you wouldn't find it. It has been utterly destroyed. Utterly, General, a tragic loss. A convenient loss. I imagine archaeologists weeping as I tell you. But most importantly, before we continue, you must understand one crucial fact about its destruction. Which is? It wasn't my fault. Poor unfortunate minks, trapped and kidnapped and dragged away only to return as vicious foot soldiers to some unknown tyrant. And yet, there was something familiar about the Stokova they were forced to wear on their heads, which I was sure were being used to control and enslave them. And what was that? General, it curiously resembled the radio sets I used to tinker with as a child. Radio sets? It was very curious. It was very curious. It was extremely curious. An ancient technological metropolis, powered by a glowing resin carved from the very earth? A glowing resin carved from the very earth. Do you see, General? <sighs> I fear you are about to enlighten me. Must have been 
drained by the impact, but whoever had stolen it and brought it here was no doubt planning to use the Agartan resin to charge up the atomic bomb, restoring the device to its full potential. What sort of man would come up with such a monstrously reckless scheme? Perhaps the type of man who has such limited understanding of atomic energy that he thinks an ancient metropolis can be powered by shiny marbles. I am curious, Ivan Ivanovich. You talk and talk about this great subterranean city, yet what you describe sounds strangely familiar. It does in some way bear an uncanny resemblance to the glorious architecture of Comrade Alexei Dushkin. Wouldn't you agree? Not yet, General. I have never heard of this great Tavarish, Dushkin, or his works. Interesting. Because you were photographed on the steps of his marvelous Visotka na Krasnich Varotach, shaking hands with the Glavni Constructor. That was the chief designer? 
the sweaty little fat man with the bad hearing? Mind your mouth, Ivan Ivanovich. <laughs>